football when the Super Bowl is over? You don't have to anymore. Come join the longest continuous running adult football league in America. The Colorado Football Conference, established in 1987, is your cure for the post-Super Bowl blues. For more info, visit cfcfootball.com or msesports.com for the link. msesports.com. All sports, no limits. Claire Clee with the Colorado Fitness Association. You're listening to msesports.com. All sports, no limits. From the Mile High City, you're listening to GP3, bodybuilding to the max, only on msesports.com. Now here's your host, GP3. Hey, what's up? This is your host, GP3. GP3, bodybuilding to the max on msesports.com. And before we go into the show, we'll talk about our newest sponsor, Body Armor Super Drink. Two times, electro, two times the electrolytes of leading sports drinks, as much potassium as a banana, vitamin A, C, and E. Great new way to drink super. Check out their website at drinkbodyarmor.com. So before I get into the show, I was going to talk about my quick experience at the Arnold this past weekend. And um, I, I don't know how to say this, but... Um, Again, the show itself was um, was a great show. Um, Dexter Jackson went in it all. I, I thought Tony should have Tony Freeman should have won. Um, the bad experience that I had with it though was that I'm not a big fan of crowds. So if you're an individual that hates crowds, going to the Arnold Expo is not not the place to go. I swear, when I was there on Saturday at the Expo, it was like a huge factory of human farts seriously because everybody there was eating all the protein bars all the shakes and just walking around just passing gas and then you can't move anywhere so so you just you, so you don't know who's farting and it, it was a huge fire hazard i mean I'm, I'm just just was not a big fan of it whatsoever so um besides that though you know i met um met great people over there um Again, promoted the radio show, MNC Sports, et cetera. But again, I wouldn't go back. I wouldn't go back. To, I wouldn't go back to the show on my dollar unless I was actually competing in the show. <laughs> so that's my little rant about the Arnold Classic. Again, great show. Just not a big fan of the Expo. Just not a big fan of the Expo. So, um, so again, so right now, going going into the show. We have in the um, studio right now, AJ Morton, owner of Fit Republic. AJ, what's up? Talk. Hey there, how you doing? Thanks. Tell us a little bit about yourself, AJ. So, uh, just uh, competed this year and uh, taking on a new venture, uh, coming into uh, Centennial with our third Fit Republic store. It's formerly Nutrition Zones, so everything that we've had in the prior two Nutrition Zones converted the brand over, and we're going to a new image and a new brand called Fit Republic. We carry everything at wholesale. We're basically a bodybuilding.com here in Denver. Uh, you can find anything from your, your famous Carbolin to Optima Nutrition. Then we have some private labels. We have three house brands. Um, anything you want from you know vitamins, oils, anything you really want to get, you can basically find in our stores. Now, what makes you, what makes you different from a GNC or a Vitamin Cottage? I mean, why should I give you my dollar? The best way the best way to explain that is basically we're a wholesaler. We're cheaper than like a bodybuilding.com. We're actually lower than most online, excluding bodybuilding.com. So even your your retail online stores and even all of our competitors, basically lower than any, anybody else. And we give you everything to try. We don't make you don't have to make a commitment. So you come in for a product, we'll let you try it. You don't have to spend 50 bucks to try something that you don't like. And that's the biggest thing. We want you to understand we're here to help you get to your goals. We write free diets for everybody that walks through our doors. So, All right, so you, oh, Free diets for everybody. Yeah, so if you come through our door, we have somebody either on staff working that's done a prep, contest, weight loss, fitness goals. We can get you to your goals faster by a free diet. We, put a, we basically put a meal plan in place. And we tell you what to eat properly, and then we can help you supplement, supplement the food um, with our supplements. But food is more important, so we do recommend food first. So we're not <laughs> coming in for a, a, a big sales pitch. It's it's basically your your call on that. Yeah, so I don't think I, I don't think you just can eat supplements your entire life and not eat food. Right. I, I would assume you would die eventually. Yeah. <laughs> so um, again, 
you, you talk about that you do um, free diets for everybody. So, again, just to for the listeners out there, it's not just for competitors, correct? It's for the, your ordinary people, correct? Right. This is, our, our new brand is actually for the average consumer. So somebody, the average mom, the, the lifetime fitness, the soccer mom, we want to get people to the, a healthy lifestyle, really. That's the biggest thing. Of course, the bodybuilding world comes into that play play every, every day of our lives when we have these stores all around we have supplements for the competitor for the mom and dad for the a lot of kids come in the the football players the freshmen in high school they want to put on a lot of weight so what we do we have a weight gainer and gnc would sell a weight gainer we look at them and we let them know that hey we're going to lay this meal plan out for you tell you how to get your goals faster a cleaner way maybe we'll supplement some carbohydrates instead of going in with a weight gainer so the average the average Joe comes in, do you have a weight gainer? I just was at GNC and they said, we need a weight gainer. And that's the idea. We need calories. But we, t- we tell you how to, we basically map out a, a meal plan to get you your 10-pound gain in six months or whatever it is. If that's, not, it's not, if that's not a good fit, we'll get you the weight gainer and educate you at the same time. And then also you were saying earlier that you give out samples. Of, is it all of your products or just certain products? So just everything we have in the store, like I have this jug of rain here for you to ch- test out. And basically, if you came in off the street as a walk drive by and you walked in, you said, I'm getting back in the gym. I just bought a membership and I want to try some pre-workouts, had a bad experience with something, was uncomfortable. I'll, I'll let you try five, five products and you can make the decision. We're not a, we don't tell you what to take. We let you make the decision on your own. So we want you to be you know, connected with us with a rapport that you're, you're comfortable with us. That's the biggest thing. We, the sales, the sales pitch is gone. We, we, we basically leave it up to you. Great, great, great. Now, what, what kind of products are, I mean, what else do you sell besides, like, maybe obviously the Optimum Nutrition, but you said it's, it's similar to a bodybuilding.com. So, again, with the products that you, you, sell at, you sell at the store, can people also get stuff online also? So, or is- so we have, um, we have an online store. Mm-hmm. We, ha- we actually also do mail order. I prefer that out of, three, out of just three stores right now. Um, if, you have a, if you live in Pueblo and you wanted to call me up and I can ship you something, no charge for shipping, you can call the store. You can go to the website and see everything, but I have a you know, rapport with all my, all my clients and friends, and I'm shipping to you know, Louisville on Monday a bunch of carbs that a person that can't come, can't come down this weekend. So... Basically, we'll get it. To, we have cu- customers that actually leave the state of Colorado that we still work with. So, to answer your question, we can do online, no charge for shipping, and again, wholesale or lower. Um, we have a referral program. A lot of these, tra- a lot of trainers out there, you bring in a you bring in a client, and you can get a five dollar kickback per client. We have a card referral program, or if you make a relationship with me, and you're going to bring in thirty people, we'll basically take care of you as the trainer. If your clients are coming in to you know, get taken care of from us. Well, that's for all you trainers out there listening. Y'all can, y'all can get the hookup right here. Um, another question, too. What's the website? I'm sorry, the website. So there's a couple websites. You can go to fitrepublicusa.com, um, I, and, and basically go on there. There's four, different, there's four different ways to go through our site. You can go to a, our house brand, which is NAN Nutrition. Um, and then you can go to the Fit Republic area. Um, but all of our products are on there. The majority of the products can be purchased online. In about a 30-day window, we're going to have that a little more full-blown. With this new store, it kind of put us back a bit. Um, we've, been, we've been doing the build-out here for about s- about two months. So the, the website took a back seat for that, um, especially with our, our phone call orders. It, most of our customers really just give us a call. But we are going to go uh, interactive you know, internationally. So the oh, website, in- internationally, yeah, we're actually looking at some conversions of other stores overseas and the franchise is now official. It's been about six months with the fit Republic and now we're going, to, this is our new business model. So when you come to the store at the grand opening, you'll see this, this image is a little different than a, than a regular health club or a health store. It looks a little different. Um, it has a upscale urban look. We've done custom furniture throughout the store and this is the new look for us. It's not going to be like a warehouse. Our old stores look basically like a garage with a bunch of supplements on the shelves. So, so what? So when? <laughs> so when is this grand opening? Uh, it's going to be Saturday from ten to seven. Uh, rain, s- sleet, or snow? Well, it's going to snow. So. <laughs> and we have a a lot of exciting things. We have a our special our sponsored athlete, uh, Rachel. She's actually across the way here at the room. 
she's, here. She's right there. I know. <laughs> she's going to be here. Um, she'll be there to kind of go over all the different exciting things she's got coming up. We're going to have a boot camp with Fit Faction, CrossFit competitions. We have iForce flying from California. We have a company uh, called First Forum. They're coming in. Uh, it's actually an up and coming supplement company. We have Optimum Nutrition. We have a half dozen vendors. Um, Revenge Fitwear clothing. We're giving away. About $1,000 in items. We're giving a six-pack bag, which is your diet bag. We're giving one of those away. The first 25 um, people in the door are getting an Omega Shape, which is a CLA-ALA combination, like a weight loss. uh, Basically speeds up your metabolism a bit. And then we're also giving uh, multivitamins away. So you can can basically get a free shirt to walk through the door and a free sample. But you basically can load up like you're going to a show. Now, okay, I love free stuff. <laughs> so, um, besides that, I mean, are there are there any other specials out there? Like, if um, for like this day, is there like a ten percent off or fifteen percent off or something like that? Yeah, the um, we're doing twenty nine, spend twenty nine and receive ten percent off, and and spend, I think it's seventy nine and receive twenty percent off, and we're also giving twenty percent off of all services. So, if you wanted to not only take advantage of the free diet, but if you wanted to set set down a six month program, a little more intensive program, we'll write you a we'll give you twenty percent off all services. Now, I've heard a lot of about you, this huge hype, and you brought it up earlier about um, rain. Rain. Yeah. So, um, tell the listeners out there what rain is. So, rain is a uh, new um, pre workout. Uh, we've it came out about six months ago. I actually took it during my contest prep uh, for the Rocky 2012. Um, and it was I was I was actually testing it. I was the dummy during a contest, and I, I took it on a no carb day, and I was expecting a zero pump and a pretty pretty awful workout. And it was my first experience with it. Um, probably one of the best workouts I've had in a contest. Full pump, like I was eating, you know, my 600 carbs. Um, and the biggest thing is it's a nitrous based product. Um, everything old, old formulations are all arginine based. So they your body has to convert that over. This nitrous actually works a little more, it, it works smarter and it hits your body and instantly turns into NO. So anybody that has any, um, stimulant resistance, you can still get your, get, get your focus because the caffeine's lower and you still get that great pump without having to, or the great workout. And then on top of that, the pump. And the stimulants are really helpful to the people that have trouble with uh, a jittery workout. Like right. you said, you were, you didn't want to take a stimulant because it makes you feel like you're going to die. Yeah, like I'm on cocaine. Correct? Yeah, I don't I don't I don't know how it feels to be like on, on cocaine, but I'm assuming that's how you feel like when you're on cocaine. <laughs> um, besides, yeah. now rain, now rain's part of um, new age nutrition. Correct. I mean, what other products do you have um, with new age nutrition and anything else that's coming new? So new age we nutrition? do actually. That's a good question. Um, so New Age is basically a full line. We have our pre, pre-workout. We have our healthy fats, our Omega Shape, um, a Thermo Evolution. So we stack our Thermo with our Omega Shape for a fat-burning phase, um, a multi-source protein. So you have a time-release protein. And the average consumer and even our, our pros and our, our competitors don't understand the way isolates go in and out in about an hour. Um, a multi-source protein is a four-hour protein. So... If you come in and if you take an isolate and you train and you don't eat a meal and you ingest that protein, that label reads 24 grams of protein, your body can see like half of that. The new age gives you four hours of casein, egg, and an isolate, and then also a concentrate. So you're anabolic for about four hours. I made, when I switched over to a a multi-source blend, um, I made gains just from ingesting this protein. I could tell food didn't change, protein changed, and my gains went up. Um, I did my midnight snack uh, shake instead of taking an isolate. I woke up anabolic, ready for my next meal. So it's a pretty awesome technology. Ex- explain to some of the listeners out there what anabolic means. It just means you're in a pro. Your body's red. You're, you're basically there's an, there's catabolic and anabolic. Um, and when we're catabolic, we're, we're burning our muscle. When we're anabolic, we're in a phase where we're actually retaining muscle, and our body, our bloodstream is absorbing this protein, and help, it's helping us basically grow. Um, you notice after you take a whey isolate, and about a half hour later, you're starving. You're probably already burned through your protein, and you're looking for more. And that slow protein through your body for a long period of time allows you to stay in that anabolic mode. Now, I'm looking on your website also right now. And besides rain, you said another future product you have that I'm looking at online. It's uh, Thermo Evolution. Thermo Evolution. 
Um, and an exciting Monday comes up uh, for Congo, which is a multi-source creatine. It's a blend of uh, crealkaline, a, a um, ethyl ester, and a... I believe we're doing a mono combo. A little bit of mono. We want to stay away from that for the water for retention. The water, yeah, the water retention. But it actually, basically, it's a delivery system protein, or sorry, uh, creatine. And basically, it's it's just it's it's a stacked uh, creatine. It's a pretty awesome product. Basically, you stack that with anything with a with a pre workout, and you're going to be full for about three hours, and allows it allows us to grow. Awesome. Now, before we go to a, a quick commercial break. Um, I just had the question in my head now. <laughs> One more time to let everybody know when's the, um, the grand opening. So grand opening is going to be... Uh, and address, please. Address is it's going to be Arapaho Road. It's 1090 East Arapaho Road, and that's in Centennial, Colorado. So basically, it's Arapaho and I-25. If you head east one mile on the right, just in front of Walmart, you can turn at Havana, or you can follow it all the way through right to the plaza. And it's basically right in front of Walmart. Next to a smiling moose, uh, you can't miss it. It's uh, we'll have a grand opening banners through the blizzard. You'll see the three banners that I've rented, um, and you'll be ready for your boot camp uh, in the anytime fitness that's in our par- parking lot. So we're bordering an anytime fitness and a Quadoba and a smiling moose deli. So you can get your post workout burrito. We're having food catered by smiling moose deli. I'm, I'm glad you corrected that because I was going to ask you. I was just going to drive around looking for a smiling moose and be pissed um <laughs> so um <laughs> and again opens march 9th yeah we are actually open for business i've done quite a bit of business this week already yeah it's like I, a soft opening yeah soft opening just letting everybody know about about our our changes changes in our new store but we're open um 10 a.m on that grand opening and it's all day and uh we'll have some cake at the end i'm i guess there's my my birthday party is going to be that day too really yeah so you guys most people won't come unless there's a a sweet or a, a cake. So there's a cake. That's the hook. Anybody jumping out of the cake? Me. Oh, ne- never mind. I'm not coming. <laughs> All right. So, again, you listen to GP3, Bodybuilding to the Max on mscsports.com. And when we return, we will talk to New, um, new Age Nutrition ah, sponsored athlete, Rachel Loftus. I said that correctly? Yes, you did. Okay, you're making sure. All right. Again, this is GP3, Bodybuilding to the Max, only on mscsports.com. All sports, no limits. Coming spring 2013 to MSCSports.com, the Colorado Cobras, Colorado Springs Cyclones, Colorado Springs Flames, Colorado Springs Veterans. And I won't forget the men who died, who gave that life to me. Denver Dynasty, your Denver Pirates, Mile High Grizzlies, North Metro Thunder, Pueblo Steel, Coming spring 2013, MSCSports.com, all sports, no limits. We are happy to be in partnership with Essex Motors, where they realize that you have a lot of choices when leasing or buying an automobile. Essex Motors considers customer satisfaction to be the highest priority. Throughout each of their departments, the emphasis is always on putting the customer's needs first. Everything they do is designed to make your car buying or leasing experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. With competitive prices, knowledgeable staff, and a superior customer service all added up to create a simple and painless way to purchase a world-class automobile at a great price. Please call 303-687-0300 or visit Essex Motors showroom at 131 South Main Street in Longmont, Colorado to see for yourself how different your total automotive experience can be or click the link on msesports.com. Winter means snow, hot chocolate, and pale skin. Get back to your summer glow. At the beach has five different tanning levels, as well as spray tans. With great prices and no wait, you can get back to your sun skin in no time. Be sure to check them out online at atvtanning.com for a location near you at the beach. Get your tan on. You shouldn't have any doubt in your mind about what you're supposed to do tonight and about how you're supposed to do it. This is your time. Now, I don't want them to gain another year. 
backyard. We gotta go out there and we gotta take it. You take their game and you shove it right back in their face. That's how winning is done. Team is something you belong to. Something you feel. Something you have to earn. For your Denver Pirates football, MSCSports.com. This is Angela Tony with the Colorado Fitness Association. You're listening to GP3 Bodybuilding to the Max, only on MSCSports.com. From the Mile High City, you're listening to GP3 Bodybuilding to the Max, only on MSCSports.com. Now here's your host, GP3. GP3 here, and we're back. Joining the ta- joining us at the table today, we have again AJ Morton from Fit Republic, and then Rachel Loftus, New Age Nutrition sponsored athlete with her trainer Brandon Little. How are you doing today? Good. How are you guys doing? Good. 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 What's up, Brandon? Hey, what's going on? Oh, they're looking all suave. <laughs> <laughs> what's up, man? Hey, so Rachel, tell me a little bit about yourself, your fitness background. Well, uh, like AJ, the last show actually that I did was uh, this last Rocky. Uh, this- 2012 uh, in November and uh, actually took a perfect scorecard in my class so won the class I was pretty excited about that but uh, unfortunately lost the overall which was disappointing but uh, you know as part of this whole you know sport is you come back with a vengeance and I plan on next time going for that overall Um, so but now I'm getting ready for Team Universe as I've been telling you guys a little bit about so and that's about 18 weeks out from this Saturday you now AJ what did you see in uh, Rachel that make her a sponsored athlete so it actually started with a photo shoot I'm obviously you guys probably all know I have a fitness photography business so I shoot yeah we know but nobody on the air knows <laughs> so basically flared photography is my one of my businesses I shoot uh, all the fitness girls before their show and and bodybuilders and she uh, Rachel hired me and did a shoot um, and went on, went through my uh, new venture here with Fit Republic, and uh, we were sitting down for coffee with my partner, and we talked about our athletes that we want to bring on. This new store, we want to bring on about ten athletes. Actually, uh, while I'm talking, if you guys are interested, come uh, as athletes, come to the grand opening, and we will go through all the protocols for. We're going to bring about ten athletes on this year. Um, but back to Rachel, um, I saw. When I, saw, when I saw the pictures, I saw a few shots. She said she had a bad day in the studio or something happened, and I kind of laughed. I said, what are you talking about? This, you're the best, you had the most muscle, the best at balance, everything, smile. So when I looked at everything, the package, the future of this girl compared to what I photographed, and I had 47 shoots this year in fitness. So that was the biggest thing for me is the, the presence that she brings from the stage to what she could represent as an athlete. We don't want a hardcore partnership where you have to, you know, make a sale for us and bring, we want people to come in and refer. Um, But the biggest thing is we want somebody that we can, a spokesmodel that can speak the brand and the image and represent us with a classy look and that she fit every, she fit every angle. Uh, And from a photographer's standpoint, I saw it from, from six months back or whenever the Rocky was there. Um, And it was a good fit for us talked to her about it she was excited and we, we brought her on and now she's i guess squatting 330 pounds oh yeah yeah, we, <laughs> yeah during a commercial break she uh, tells that she was squatting 330 but to the floor basically so i mean a lot of guys aren't doing that so yeah. Wait, was that what was that from is that from the rain oh man that was from a lot of the different products you guys got me on now um especially that that protein you're talking about earlier yeah. um that but that rain man that's it's unlike anything else you know i mean and i've taken a ton of pre-workouts you know and these even these ones where you're talking about you you take it you feel like you're gonna have a heart attack right, right. You, you have to go and do something or you're gonna die yeah and sometimes you do yeah. um but uh <laughs> i've i've taken some actually where 
I will I will look at the product and I'll get nauseous. Yeah. Because I'm like, I, I have to drink this. It <laughs> tastes so terrible, but I, I have That's to drink what you said this. The first day. Right. Because I, I have to I have to get a good pump. I have to have the energy. I'm not feeling I have to drink this workout, but I, I don't want to. This stuff actually, besides the amazing pumps, like you were saying yeah. that even on my low carb days, because I'm cycle my carbs on my low carb days, I still feel full pumped, you know, like I, I have That's what a I full, felt. you know, exactly. Um, so it's it's just great. And the best part, honestly, besides the whole pump, is the taste. Yeah. I, I kid you, you not. The first day. Right. I, I feel like I'm actually drinking like a liquid sweet tart. You know, those candies that you get in, in a <sighs> roll. <laughs> I mean, I, I think it's great. I oh. mean, yes, it's a little tart, but it's sweet. I will actually sit there and Brandon will attest to this. I'll pour some in my water and I'll just sit there and I'll just sip on it. Yeah. I'll drink it. You find me another pre workout you can do that with. Yeah. And hey. And it's, you know, non biased. <laughs> Michael have a diabetic attack drinking out? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> but non biased, not being biased to, to, you know, this product that's one of ours in our stores. Um, I've given it to strangers. My coach, uh, Chris Havacost in Fort Collins, very well known trainer and competitor. He's taken everything. He's a little, he's been around for a few years. And he said, you know, hands down, not knowing you, this is the best pre workout I've taken. And these are the same. Rep- so people are posting and they're saying, what is this? Like, and really, I have no answer except it's a nitrous based product. And um, people are telling me it's the best they've taken. And I can't even, uh, there's no sales pitch. We're not pushing a product. It's, 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 it, it explains itself, really. Now, when you were um, getting ready for the Rocky, well, did you, were you taking it? You said you were basically I, the, the test. I tested this, this before we had a label on it, and I was six weeks out, and basically a no carb day, and I was I was miserable. I was having trouble with my prep. Um, started on this, and filled right up. Um, you know, food is your pump in a in a prep for sure, if you're not eating. So if you have a carb day, it's a good workout. I was planning on a, a awful workout. Uh, great pump, and then on top of that, I started. It's an. It was actually designed. It's an endurance endurance based product. So my stairs, my forty minute stair workouts improved. My legs filled up on the stairs, so I had a lot of blood flow in my legs for for the stairs. And then that focus without the uncomfortable, you know, your cardiovascular. If you're on too many stimulants doing cardio, it's an awful workout. You can't breathe. Again, a heart attack waiting to happen. Right. So. <laughs> Yeah, it speaks for itself, and she's pretty happy. I was we're happy to have her on and brought her on the team, um, and we're looking forward to her universe uh, debut. Looking for that, I think it's called a card. Yeah, a, a pro card. Yeah. <laughs> now, before I go back to uh, Rachel, how did you, how did you do in the Rocky? I won the Master Thirty Five. Um, brought in again the best conditioning I thought, and and this is this is. I thought I brought the best conditioning in, probably in that building. Um, not, not big enough for the open. I took a fourth in the open. I was super happy with my, with my, with my results. Um, I need to bring some size in, more size. I think going into the open, I needed to be a little bigger. I could have been bigger, but I was going for the condition. Um, I put a 30-pound stage gain from the Warrior of 2011, uh, which I won the lightweights. And I won, jumped up to the top of the middles. I almost didn't make weight. At the middles, I actually had to pull weight that morning. Um, very happy, won the Masters, and going to take a couple years off and try to put on 20 more pounds and enjoy this hobby. Now it's a hobby. I just had a baby um, six, two months ago. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I totally forgot about it. Congratulations. Yeah. So it's now a hobby instead of a debt. I mean, it's still a, it's still fun, but I family first, and it's pretty exciting. Uh, I'm a dad for the first time. I have a f- family of five now. I have. I inherited four other children through my uh, through my family, so oh, I, this is my own child, though. So it's pretty exciting. Oh, great, great! Now going back to Rachel, her trainer right here, Brandon Little. What did you do to create this beast right here? <laughs> <laughs> well, Rachel and I started working together late January of last year, and when we first started working together, I asked her, you know, what, what she was doing. She was actually working with a diet guru who uh, was, was across the country. And he her, had her at 13, 1,400 calories only. Are you keeping his name confidential? I am. Okay, all right. <laughs> um, I, w- after training together for a few weeks, she actually started losing weight because the intensity of training with me was just so much higher. And um, so we, we bumped her calories up to about 1,700, and then eventually you know, we eclipsed the 2,000 calorie mark. So uh, basically, it was the, the training intensity and, uh, and, and the diet. Um, lately, though, 
um, since she's become a uh, nutrition athlete, she's actually put on eight pounds. And it, AJ, correct me if I'm wrong. She, she's only been a. It's NAN. been exactly where she's due for a new product today. But, she's thirty days in. Okay, so and uh, that's I didn't even know that. I'm I'm impressed. I think she weighed in at 156, and she was about 148 when she started with wow. NAN. So essentially, um, you know, heavy squats, heavy deadlifts. Um, this girl lifts a lot of weight. At 330 on squats, as mentioned, uh, about the same on deadlifts. Uh, 185 on on bench. Uh, she she lifts uh, male poundages. Um, so that and just with the diet and proper supplementation, um, she's really been able to do it. Well, wow, that's yeah. You want to comment on that? Uh, well, um, Brandon said I mean, it I mean, pretty he, well. I mean, he said, he's, saying a good, he's saying a lot of stuff about you, a lot of good <laughs> stuff. Yeah, uh, you know, I I definitely wouldn't be uh, where I am with, without his guidance and his help. Uh, like I said, I, I was working with a diet guru who, you know, they do tend to starve us girls. You know, <laughs> they don't like to give us many calories, you know, and I was supposed to be bulking, you know, gaining weight, and I was losing weight, and I confronted my coach with this problem and he's like just trust me i, I would ask him why and he said like, just trust me uh, weight's going down not up so eventually had to drop him and, and brandon took over and it's been but, like nothing else and, and the other difference too is the amount of cardio that rachel was doing oh yes with this coach she was doing over three hours a day of cardio so eventually attacking that muscle eventually exactly oh, yes. she got down to 113 for the the rocky uh, two Rockies ago. 2011. And uh, this this Rocky, she came in uh, about 14 pounds heavier. So, And she only had to do about an hour and a half of cardio a day on, on average. So that's that's another huge difference, too. Now, if there's listeners out there that want to get a hold of you for training, uh, Brandon, how can uh, I get a hold of you? I actually don't do training. I'm, I'm an attorney, mm -hmm. and I just train Rachel because she's my best friend. Are you serious? <laughs> I'm just that special. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Oh my God! But you guys can come talk to me, you know, at the grand opening, you know, because I'm I'm very happy to, you know, share these tips. There's no secrets to this. There really isn't, you know. And I don't, I don't kind of like to sugarcoat things. I'll tell you exactly what you need to do. You know, we're let's get over the excuses. Let's get in there. Let's actually work hard. This isn't supposed to be easy, you know. So I'm happy to answer any questions you guys might have. And yeah, so Rachel will be there. All she'll be there for. The for a guest appearance and she can any of you girls out there that are wanting to get into this figure bikini step on a stage or just lose make some great gains or lose a bunch of weight she would be a perfect one and she's there um, all day um, she can put kind of a meal plan in place um, we have everything set up in the store and she can go over all the products and you guys can try everything for free and leave with a bag full of everything we have in that store t-shirts and all now earlier we were talking about besides the Rocky when you um, when you won your class but you lost overall, you also did another show. You did uh, nationals last year. That's correct. Uh, it was the week earlier in Atlanta. Oh, so you did it before then? Yes. Okay. It was just one after another. <laughs> All right. So um, let everybody know how how that went. Well, unfortunately, nationals was um, nationals was an eye opener for for any competitors that are listening right now. If if you place, obviously, first, second, or third in your class, that qualifies you to go to nationals. Uh, take it from me, that doesn't necessarily mean you're ready. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> I, learned this, I learned this the hard way um, because doing a national show is, is not only a big commitment, but it's also very expensive. Um, and you, you, know, you could do great. You know, I, I took, again, my class uh, at the Rocky. I took first, so I figured, all right, I'm qualified. I'll take a, I took a year off, even, to continue to prep. I put on 14 pounds of muscle in a year, which is astronomical, if you ask me, for a girl. Um, but I, I didn't even place. I, it was a slaughter. I mean, now, granted, I think there were some girls up there that should not have been there. Like, I'd give myself some credit. But um, it... It's an eye opener, you know. You you need to make sure that you are really ready before you make that plunge. So how how does that make you? Or how does that affect your prep now for Team Universe coming up in June? Correct, June or July? July. 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 Yes, yeah. it's uh, July sixth. I we're, believe we're more excited about the Team Universe because there's less girls per class. There's only an average of about twenty twenty five girls per class in the Team <laughs> Universe versus uh, forty five to fifty per class for nationals. So 
a lot better chance of being recognized by the judges. Mm -hmm. I actually talked with uh, one of the judges uh, who's actually a local judge here. He was actually the head judge at, at the Rocky, and he's also a national judge, and he actually does some pro shows. He told me, I showed him my pictures, he said, you are absolutely ready for a national show. The only problem that I see you having is the number of girls. Um, so obviously that's why we're trying to find a, a slightly smaller show. Hopefully we can pull that off with Team Universe. But really, I, I took a step back and I had to really be honest with myself and see what, what are my weaknesses? What have I neglected? Um, because we all have them, you know, we always, you know, we have our best body parts and we want to work those into the ground, but then we neglect those ones that are kind of weaker or we try to hide them. And I had to be really honest with myself and say, what, what did, what did the first place winner have that I didn't have? Or what did second place, third place, fourth place, and just go down the list? Like what made them better than me? And just be honest with myself because the judges, you know, they're going to see it. You know, and I, I can't I can't take offense to it. It's it is what it is. So I'm taking that and um, I'm going to be the best that I have ever been in July. And I'm looking forward to it. And if you don't get your pro card, if I don't get my pro card. Then I'll be doing uh, the Colorado State the week after. Again, I like doing shows uh, back to back, you know, seven days apart. It's not too bad. Um, so I think the Colorado State will be a lot of fun. Um, I've never done the Colorado State before, so that'll be uh, a trip for sure. Um, and if that goes well, which I assume it will, then I am also going to try to maybe do uh, North Americans later in August. Uh, one more shot this year. It, um, she'll, she'll have a ring or a card. I was going to say, <laughs> I, I was just going to say, I didn't want to interrupt, but that ring might be a big, a good fit for you too. I, I would like that ring. I'm just going to put it out there. That's, that's kind of the goal for this summer. So, I I really would like that ring. It'd be a good thing to put on my resume. We'll be uh, actually a big sponsor. We're gonna we, we teamed up with Jeff. Actually, we're gonna be a co um, co sponsor at the Northern, and we're gonna tell everybody who Jeff is. Jeff Taylor, the uh, chairman of the MPC here in Colorado. We've teamed up this year with this new store, and we're actually gonna be a co sponsor at the Northern, uh, one of the main sponsors, and we'll be a, a definitely a featured sponsor at at the Colorado State. But the Northern's our big show. Um, We'll be supplying actually this year with Revenge Fitwear uh, competitors uh, shirts. So it's a custom affliction blank with Jeff Taylor's uh, show printed on it. So you're not just going to get a large, extra large um, Fruit of the Loom shirt this year. You're going to get a workout shirt that's a tight fitting, uh, physique busting. <laughs> and this shout out to Dustin. I just got a text from him about getting all swollen with my protein. Yeah, it doesn't just send me a message too on the the fan page. So <laughs> keep it down in in Pueblo there and stop eating the donuts. <laughs> well, again, I'm glad for all three of y'all able to come onto the show today. All right, and then best of luck, best of luck to you, Rachel and Team Thank U. You. Thank you. Um, you're taking you're taking a year off, aren't you? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a year off and and, and look at uh, Master Nationals of 2014 and speaking back to you know going to a show that's a little more my level. You know, I'm 36 on Monday. I started this three years ago, doing well, winning here and there. I need, I have a size, definitely a size with my height, and I'm, you know, this is not putting me down, but I'm a B, I'm a, I'm a, I rate myself as like a B competitor. You know, I'm not 25 in an open class. Why, why, why do you think that way? Why, why, seriously? Because I'm old, and and I'm, I'm older, and starting this, and this, this young. I can you know? never, I can never imagine me telling myself, I'm a B-rated. Anything. Well, speaking back to that national level, I mean, if I step on a national stage, even at the top of the class, it's just a, something. I, 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 need, I have a lot of work ahead of me. And, you know, at 20, how old are you? Oh, I'm old. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it on the air. I'm old. <laughs> so a 25 year old that has 10 years to grow, and he's de so that, that's where I, and I, I don't want to put myself down, but, you know, I think the Master Nationals is a great fit for me. Yeah. And I think I could, I could actually go after something at, you know, 40. Try to get, try to win a, a you know, a, a light heavy class. With my conditioning, I do bring really sharp conditioning. So if I could put put it together um, and put thirty pounds on, I think I have a chance in the in the master nationals. Great, great. So um, next, um, after our quick break, we will have um, Cedric, the boss, that's what he calls himself, Patterson, no relation, and his trainer Rob Rubble will be in studio to talk about his show this Sunday. March 10th at the Denver Open. 
This is GP3 Bodybuilding to the Max, only on MSCSports.com. All sports, no limits. Coming soon to MSCSports.com, a weekly show dedicated to the longest-running football conference in Colorado, the Colorado Football Conference, breaking down each game, interviews with players, and everything about the Colorado Football Conference. For more info, go to CFCFootball.com or click on the link on MSCSports.com. MSCSports.com, all sports, no limits. MSC Sports Nation, the time is now. No excuses, no explanation. Nations. Denver Pirates, the time is here. Our journey begins. Be ready. The time has come to take back what is rightfully ours. Fans, get ready. Rise. Come from near and far. Spring 2013, the journey begins. MSCSports.com. All sports, no limits. Here at SX Motors, we realize that you have lots of choices when leasing or buying an automobile. We consider customer satisfaction to be our highest priority. We pride ourselves on listening to the needs of our customers. Everything we do is designed to make your car buying or leasing experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Come on down to 131 South Main Street in Longmont, Colorado, or visit our website at sxmotorsllc.com, or hey, even give us a call, 303-678-0300. Tired of cutting coupons and looking for deals or ways to save money? Daily Pocket Deals has everything you need. Offering new deals for local businesses every day. Daily Pocket Deals is sure to keep more money in your pocket. Visit dailypocketdeals.com and enter promo code KZKO to be automatically entered to win one of many great prizes. I am driven by the unbroken. I am fueled by the untested. I will put my best against your best. My one against your one. I will add to the story and put aside personal glory like a champion. No weakness will take root in my heart. Honor. There is only team. There is only this field. There is only today. There is only one Denver Pirates football only on MSCSports.com. Winter means snow, hot chocolate, and pale skin. Get back to your summer glow. At the beach has five different tanning levels, as well as spray tans. With great prices and no weights, you can get back to your sun skin in no time. Be sure to check them out online at atvtanning.com for a location near you at the beach. Get your tan on. This is Michael Alexander from the Warrior Classic. You are listening to GP3 Bodybuilding to the Max, only on MSCSports.com. All sports, no limits. I'm living in that 21st century. From the Mile High City, you're listening to GP3 Bodybuilding to the Max, only on MSCSports.com. Now here's your host, GP3. Yes, we're back, GP3 here. And before we go into our last guest, we have thanked one of our sponsors at the Beach Tanning Salon, 31 locations here in the Denver metro area. Go to msesports.com to enter to win a $30 gift card at At the Beach. And you can check it out at, at atbtanning.com. You go, you'll get some tanning on, Cedric? Hey, I'm working on my tanning. Oh, whatever. Me too. Okay. <laughs> So, again, we have uh, Cedric Patterson in studio with his trainer, Rob, the Rock Robo. What's up, man? How's it going tonight? Good, good. How's your offseason going? What's going on? It's going real good. Good. Both of yeah, both of yeah. y'all. Now, Cedric, first show ever, March 10th, you, 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 um, you're prepping for. How are you feeling? I feel really good. Confident. Um, Rob's been kicking me, beating me up, cutting me up, getting me ready. So, uh, so tell everybody about your, your, fitness, um, your fitness history and then your background in Okay. What, you, um, what, what, you, what you're prepping for? Um, this is my first show they open. Um, I have a f- history in football, basketball, track in high school, all around athlete. Came to college for football, D1 athlete. And I've been, lately, everybody's been telling me I should try out for shows and check it out. So, I mean, I kind of just woke up one day and said, let's do it and see what happens. And are you doing um, which division? 
Uh, D1. I played at CSU Fort Collins. CSU Fort Collins. Mm-hmm. Okay. Go Rams. Go Rams. Oh, whatever. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> and then um, for the show, you're doing men's physique? Men's correct? physique. Yes, sir. Okay. Men's physique. Now, how was that? Have, have you got your board shorts yet? Yeah, board shorts. I got those about a week ago. Got those a week ago. Please tell me you work legs. Yeah. Okay, you I'm never, never miss leg day. I, I, I'm, just, I'm, just, leg I'm, day. I'm just asking. Nah. I'm just Friends asking. let friends miss leg day. <laughs> <laughs> He's pretty strong on legs, too. <laughs> Now, Rob, what, what did you see in this guy to go ahead and be like, you know what, I'm going ahead and train you for the show? Because you're kind of, not saying you're picky, but, I mean, I mean, you, you, you determine your guys pretty well. So, I mean, what did you see in him to be like, you know what, let's, let's go ahead and make this happen on Sunday? Well, overall, you know, I could tell just even with his football background and just overall athlete background, but then looking at his overall shape, symmetry, you can tell that he, once he, when he brought it, the conditioning down, shredded him down, and he would able to actually, not only his poise, I mean, he has a great smile, just the way he carries himself is going to really take him that much further on stage this Sunday. And I think that's what's going to light up the crowd. You're going to see he's the one that's going to be taken first. And how tall are you, about 6'1"? Six, 6'1"? Six one. Six one? So what's oh, that? The, long hair, 6'2". Is that the, what classes are there? There's um, above 6 foot, and then is it 6'3 and above? This time they're only ha- they're only having three. They're only having three. Th- th- three, three classes. So he's going to be the tallest, of course. Okay. How now? How's the diet? Because again, a lot of people don't know when you when you do your first show, the diet's always. Even when you compete, the diet's always the toughest part. Every, every, everybody works out hard. Everybody hits the gym hard. But usually, what makes or breaks you in the show is your diet. So I mean, how's how's that how's that going for you for this very first show? For my first show, I think I'm doing pretty good. I mean, I love my candy. I love cookies, donuts. I love it all. Have you been cheating? Oh, I definitely did. Oh, when the, I first started, oh, I don't, cheated don't, on the weekend. I told Rob. I was like, hey, man, it happened. <laughs> it happened. I, I woke up with some cookies and donuts in my bed and didn't know what happened. Oh, Didn't know what happened. Just all of a sudden just, just woke up and had a, mouth with, to a sugar coma. <laughs> <laughs> After he started following the diet a little bit better, I could, like the next week, I'm like, you're following the diet this week, aren't you? He's like, yep, sure am. And I could tell everything was tightened up quite a bit more than before when he was taking those little cheat meals. <laughs> and, 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 it's, and it's funny, as a trainer, you can always tell when somebody is cheating on their diet. Mm-hmm. Even when they're lying to you and saying that they're not, you just look at them and you're just like, come on, man. Your body should be working. You yeah. should be responding. Yeah. I, tried to, I tried to make up with it for extra cardio. I tried. <laughs> <laughs> see, that's, that, see, that's the, don't think that way. I know, and I can't do that. I, have to, I, stopped. I stopped it all. <laughs> stopped it. At so, first, he was doing, like, a lot of cardio. I was like, no, we don't need that much cardio. Oh, yeah, cause, yeah, you won't be too hard. So, anyway, so the one question I do have, though, for you is, why not, um, why not bodybuilding? Because, again, you, you just assumption that you're too tall. To be completely honest, I played football about 260. Mm-hmm. And I got tired of being big. I get tired of carrying weight around. I wasn't playing ball anymore, so I was like, I need to slim down. I want to slim down, get the lean, mean fighting machine look going. You thought, about I'm lean? What, what, what's wrong? I just... I didn't like carrying the weight. I worked in an office. There's a reason for me being in an office being 260. You, you like walking around just knocking people over for no reason? Just nah. Because you're, you're just as wide as you are tall? Hey, it's hard <laughs> to find clothes when you're big. I want to get actually, and I got big feet, so it's really hard. What does big feet have to do with this? <laughs> Finding clothes, shoes, everything, just outfits. I like to try to match stuff together. You're working out. Your feet doesn't get bigger while you're working out. What does your feet have to do with this? <laughs> oh man! <laughs> I tell you. Now, is there anybody else to do training for this show, Rob, or is it just him? Right now, just just Cedric. Just Cedric. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. And then, um, is there any other competitors you have for any other shows coming up um, besides this show? Uh, right now, I mean, that's I have a few in in the works, but nothing like totally committed quite yet. Yeah, hey, because you, you're getting ready for your own show, correct? Exactly. That is correct. So, and what, what show is that? Colorado State. How you feel about that? Uh, it's going well. It's going. I mean, definitely a lot better now that um, I have more time to myself, just in personal training. That doing that full time now. And that's it. And then, how do you feel you're going to place though? How do I feel I'm going to place? Yeah, I'm, I'm just asking you. I don't. I don't anyway. Oh, we had this conversation before. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go. So obviously the overall. <laughs> exactly. And then after that, you're heading to USA's. USA's right after that. Good, Correct. good, good. Now, question for you. If there's one person's physique that you that you want right now, whose physique would that be? One person's physique. They, like when you, cause you, usually when you work out, I don't know if this every, I don't know if this is everybody, but some people usually have like a mindset. They're just like, you know what, I like that look. 
So that's the look I want to aim for, but a better look like that. So, I mean, is there like a certain person, individual, or you just want to be the better person, the better you? I just want to be a better me. Okay. Definitely. Definitely better me. Like, cause I mean, I remember me personally, like when I was growing up and I used to, I, I, I got into bodybuilding late, but the one bodybuilder that I always looked at all the time and always liked his physique was always Tony Freeman because he had, obviously he's a taller bodybuilder, smaller waist. So in my head, I was just like, that's the physique I want, but I want a better physique of that. What about you, Rob? Same thing? Exactly. I mean, but not only just the better me, but when I was growing up, I saw many different physiques and uh, like I mentioned last time um, with Flex Lewis right now, I mean, he's a shorter, shorter, compact physique, and that's kind of matches my physique. Now, going back into um, your workouts, I mean, what, what kind of workouts are you putting him through with um, physique? Is it the same as bodybuilding or is it somewhat, do you change a little bit, do you change a little bit different? Towards the end, um, towards the end, I definitely changed up to where things were a little bit higher up, more tightening things down because definitely not allowing the muscles to grow as much, especially the back and how the muscles actually get really, really big into bodybuilding because there's a point you have to tighten them down, not allow the overall muscles to get too shredded to where you're seeing those striations. And then also, too, Another question ran through me. How did you, with, with the workouts in general, again, we, we talked about this earlier, because you went from um, from a football player to now a competitor. And again, same thing, it's, it's a different type of workout. Obviously, when you're doing football, it's more for power. So you do more of the five sets of five, you know, power versus oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. Now, you, now you're doing higher reps to get that, that blood pump. I mean, so was that a huge change for you? It was an ego check. <laughs> it was a big ego yeah, check. Yeah. Like, I can move a lot of weight, and Rob's like, all right, take this off. And I'm like, no, I can do it. And he's like, no, take it off. And I'm like, I can do this. He's like, take it off. It's not about the heaviness right now. And it's hard to transition from moving about your weight, like your heavy squats, your heavy bench and everything, to getting your reps in, technique and everything. And it's still, even now, it's an adjustment still. And even when I go to the gym when I'm not training with Rob, it's have to check myself, hey, lower the weight so you can do your reps and do it right. So you can get your workout in. No, and that was a big issue. I think a lot of people have that problem, too, that it's a huge ego. I mean, even now, I still have that issue now when I work out because I'm so used to being powerful and explosive. I can do heavy weights, two or three reps, but if I go, like, for 15 or 20, like, I feel, I feel bad because I, I work out with somebody smaller than me, but he can do more reps than I can. So, I mean, it's a, it's a huge ego check, but, again, the strongest bodybuilder doesn't always win. <laughs> Nope, yeah. not at all. So, and then even bumping up the endurance, because unlike a regular lifting program for football, your endurance is there to a point, but you're not taking as much rest period, like power lifting that five by five, going all for that strength. Now, uh, before um, before we go, is there anybody you want to thank personally? Uh, Rob, obviously. Oh, obviously um, Rob. All my friends and family, I mean, they've actually pushed me into doing this. I've kind of messed around for a while and I was like you know what do it it's like you should do it you try it out you like working out go do it and so I mean and my mom she's actually been on me tough about it my mom's <laughs> tough about it Wait, so. where'd you, where'd you, so I, forgot, I don't actually where'd you get your trunks at trunks where'd you Ross, get them at 20 bucks hey I'm, I'm telling you right now I'm telling you right now from experience figure out a way to get get them custom fit or whatever because uh -huh. I remember the first time I did men's physique and for some reason, God punished me with a huge ass. So I went to um, I went to Ross, or not Ross. I'm sorry. I don't know where I got. I can't remember exactly. How you said Ross, but I can't remember exactly where I got my my shorts from. But it kept climbing up, and I was just like, Jesus, I, I, there's nothing I can do, you know. Come on, man. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean you, you know how black folks are. I mean, I, mean I, I can't I can't help it. So that's why. I'm, Natural. So we'll see. We'll see how you are when, oh, yeah, when, you, when you get on stage. And I'm a newbie, so I'm hopping into this. Eyes wide open, all in, trying to see what happens. But, but, ne but next time, when you, when you do it serious, get, get yours custom. Because I'm telling you right now, Ross, it is, it is, it, we don't, they don't have it for black folks. Nah. <laughs> they, they just don't. They actually fit pretty well do they? right off the rack. I was surprised. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, also, too, so, Rob, um, so your family, Rob, that's it? Oh, of course, God. Okay. 
got to. Appreciate <laughs> you having me on the show as well. Oh, no, no, no. That's no. A, a huge. Appreciate it. Thank you. Well, when you told me your last name was Patterson, I was just like, oh, so he, he got to be smooth. That name. <laughs> <laughs> I told him that, and he's like, he's related. I was like, I swear to God, we're not related. That I know of. <laughs> that I know of. You never know. No, I'll, I'll, never no know. I, I have, a, I have a, my sister's in, in the Springs. But um, besides that, no, we don't. <laughs> nobody here in Denver. All right. And then, so ev- also, everybody listening, also, tune in this Sunday from 11 to whenever pre judging is done. We'll be a, a live remote uh, simulcast of the March 10th show. And I'll also be guest posing at that show. And you can see my special design trunks that I got from um, posing suits by um, from Laura Richards. So, um, be there, to, be there to watch that. But, again, listen in on, um, again, March 10th, 11, 11, I think it starts, show starts at 11 a.m. It'll probably maybe last maybe like to 1 o'clock, 1, 2 o'clock. But, again, it'll be prejudging of the Denver Open March 10th. Again, it's the GP3 Bodybuilding to the Max, only on msesports.com. And for all y'all out there, have a good night. Why? We'll get you back on the We'll be back to On the Fence with Alex and Austin right after these messages from our sponsors. I'm living. This is Jacqueline Abrams from Paul Abrams with Made for War MMA. You're listening to GP3, Bodybuilding to the Max. Only on MSCSports.com. All sports, no news. This has been a presentation of the MSC Radio Network. You're listening to MSCSports.com. Check us out on Facebook and Twitter at MSC Sports. All sports, no limits. Tune in to MSCSports.com on Friday evenings from 4 to 5 p.m. Mountain Time with Dean Sessions. Dean Dean as he dissects the anatomy of sports and administers your prescription for all the news in the world of golf. That's the anatomy of sports with Dean Sessions only on MSCSports.com. Are you looking for a new piercing or tattoo? Phantom 8 Tattoo and Piercing is the place. Come in and check out their artist work and schedule your appointment today. Don't forget to mention KZKO to receive an hour off your session. Phantom 8 Tattoos and Piercing. Conveniently located on South Broadway in Inglewood. Or visit Phantom8.com.